So in this video, we'll be looking at how we can create voids into our topo solid, and we can use those to help us provide water features or maybe a swimming pool or something like that uh, in the surface of our topo solid. So um, I've got this set up so that I've got my 3D view, obviously. I've got my level zero, and you can see I've drawn a 2D section coming across here. This is going to help me identify things later. And when I'm in the section, you can see I've got plenty of space below and plenty of space above to see things. Uh, so in my 3D view then, first place to go is massing and sight. You need to make sure that you've got this switched on. So where it says show mass by view settings, just click it to make sure you've got the uh, little light bulb on. And just to the right of that, the button to next to it is our in-place mass. We click on that. Don't worry about what the uh, name is, just click OK. And for this, I'm going to use the circle button on here in the drawing palette and I'm just going to draw out um, a three meter diameter circle. You can make yours any size or shape you want. Once I've done that, don't hit the escape key and don't click out anywhere, but just go up to this create form button up here, but don't hit the top part, just hit the lower area of it where it says create form, then you can select the void form. Once I've done that, you can now see that we've got this void form hanging out underneath and this is where I need my section view. Uh, so with my section view, I can now click on the underside of this and I can either physically drag it up like so, or I can actually, uh, wherever it's measured to or from, I can actually type in there. So for, doing, for this one, I'm going to go I don't know, 1400. Now drag it up, so it'll now be 1400 deep the void will be. So into 3D again, um, escape key to prevent me from uh, adjusting that. Once I've done that, I've got to cut it. So we've got this cut tool, cut geometry tool just up here. So I click on that, click on the outside of the topo solid, and then click on the void form that I've just drawn. And then you can now see that it's created this void, this cutout in the, in the, in the topo solid. Don't forget your green tick to finish up this uh, particular part of the drawing. And then you can see we've got this nice void cut out. Next job really is to start, uh, is draw a wall around the inside and then put some, uh, maybe a concrete base down and then fill it up with water. So to do that, go until level zero. I'm just going to move this um, section so it's sitting over or, or across this, um, this void that I've already done because it's going to help me later on. And then go into architecture and wall. And the wall I'm going to use is going to be a, a non-cavity wall, so just a solid wall and it's going to be this one here. So this wall retaining 300 concrete, 300 mil concrete wall. You can choose anything you like. You can use any wall you like. Um, so the location line, where it says wall center line, I'm going to change that to finish face exterior. I'm not going to worry about anything else just yet. And I'm going to use the pick lines tool. And when I'm in pick lines, when I'm in here, can you see that when I hover, I can have the blue line on the inside or the outside, or when it on the inside that's where it's going to place the wall I want that wall to be on the inside now the wall will be too high so when i go into 3d we can see that it's sitting up we want to lower that down into the uh to, to the recess so we can do that a number of different ways so we can go into section one uh, and just click on it and then we've got these arrows where we can just pull things about so i could just drag that down or i could use the align tool so i could actually type in a l on the keyboard and it's destination followed by the subject and that brings it down and now we can see the wall actually sinks down into um in, into the bottom of our our void uh, we could also use the align tool while it's selected and, and bring it down to this uh, level line so we could bring that down or we could just physically drag it down however you want to do it um, the height of the wall is up to you where you want that to be um, i'm going to bring this one up so it's just above the level line they want to be the same and again in my 3d view we can now see that 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 wall is actually sitting in there quite nicely next job is to put the concrete base in there so for this uh, back to my level zero and i'm going to choose a floor now the floor i'm going to use for this one is just this one here it's all it's an upper floor it's it's a nice size for what i want it to be and i'm going to use the pick lines tool again to create its boundary like so green tick and then into my 3D view, and we can see that it's actually sitting up way too high. So if I go into section one, again, I can use the align tool, AL, destination, followed by the underside of it. It now brings that down uh, into the underside, and now I've got my depth back. Let's 
escape key twice to get rid of the align tool. And now I want to fill up with water. So to do this, uh, there's a number of different ways you can do this. The way I like to do it is to actually, where we've got the component button, just below that, we've got a little arrow and we can choose either place a component or model in place. We're going to model in place, which brings up this dialog box, which we're going to change to generic models. So we've got generic models here. So we're going to double click on that. Doesn't matter what it's called. So we we'll just click OK. And then once we've got this done, it's going to be an extrusion. So the top left-hand corner here, we've got this solid extrusion button. So we click on that, and then we've got our, back to our drawing palette again. Um, so I'm going to go back into level zero. And again, I'm going to use the pick lines tool. And on the inside there, I'm going to create these, these lines around the inside. And if I go into 3D, you can see those lines there. And then once I've done that, I'm going to green tick. And then you can see we can now give it some depth. So in section, you can see this is our, going to be our water. So I need the bottom of it to sit on the top of the concrete there. And I'm going to bring the top down so it's um, just below the, the, the edge of the lip of the surface. Now, before I green tick this on the left-hand side here, I can actually change its material by category. So just click into there and I'm going to type in water and see what we get. I'm just going to use this one here for now. And then once I've done that, go back into the 3D view so we can see it. And then once we're happy, we green tick, and then we've got our, our, our pond or our water feature actually filled up with water. And that's how you uh, create that.